Hello, and welcome to the Daily Almanac for April 11. So, let's get started. First day in history! <laughs> On this day in history, April 11, 1899, Percy L. Julian, an African-American chemist, was born. In one of his projects, he refined a soya protein that became the basis of aerofoam, a foam fire extinguisher used by the U.S. Navy in World War II. Also, on this day in 1968, the Civil Rights Act of 1968 was passed, which made it illegal to discriminate in the sale, rental, and financing of housing. And on this day in 1970, Apollo 13, the third manned lunar landing mission, was launched from Cape Kennedy. Two days later, very far from home, disaster struck. A liquid oxygen tank exploded, disabling the normal supply of oxygen, electricity, light, and water. The lunar landing was canceled. After circling the moon, the crippled spacecraft began a long, cold journey back to Earth. On the 17th of April, with the world watching, Apollo 13 astronauts touched down safely in the Pacific Ocean. World to Today on Word Power, we're going to talk about the saying, two-faced. Now, if someone is two-faced, it means they're not honest. You might say, Gerald is two-faced. He says he's my best friend, but then he makes jokes about me behind my back. The saying two-faced is linked to Roman mythology. The god Janus, the keeper of the heavens, was said to have two faces. One of his faces looked to the future, and the other looked to the past. <laughs> Today on Extremes, we ask, what is the largest cockroach on the planet? The answer is a winged cockroach found in Peru, the Megaloblata longipennis. The longest one ever found was 3.8 inches long, or 97 millimeters, and 1.75 inches across, or 45 millimeters. Yikes, that's longer than my pointer finger. I wouldn't want to find one of those cockroaches in my kitchen at night. Health tips. <laughs> Medicines can help you heal if you're sick. But all medicines can be dangerous if you don't follow your parents' and doctors' instruction for when they need to be taken. Never take any medicine from anyone other than a trusted adult, like your parent, nurse, or doctor. We love people. <laughs> Yikes. An important step in electing the president is the National Convention. At the end of the primaries and caucuses, each party holds a national convention to finalize the selection of one presidential nominee. Now, the primaries may identify a party candidate for president. That person becomes the party's nominee at the convention. But sometimes, there may be several candidates competing to be the presidential nominee for the party. The convention delegates get to vote. Eventually, one candidate emerges as the convention's choice. During the convention, each presidential candidate chooses a running mate or vice presidential candidate. Well, that's all the time we have left today for Daily Almanac. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you tomorrow. <laughs>